Welcome everybody, I am GamerMade0 and today I'm going to show you a, not only a new way to do the adders, but we also have something that's going to help us subtract. So let's start off with taking a look over here. This was the old uh, way to do it, the way that I, I had shown in my last couple of videos. I had actually updated this, um, just mostly the carry over here to make that so that it was quicker and with less... Um, I didn't have to have another repeater in there because I was going underground and it was just kind of weird. But anyways, this over here is a lot easier to do. And also, look at it. It's much smaller. These are both 8 bits. And you can see this one right here is almost half the size of the one over here. If that first one right here was full scale, like the one over here is, on the one digit, it would be half the size. So let's go ahead and get started. I have some of these things in the back just make it easier to do the numbers for us. And as you notice on the right side of our screen, I have two calculators. We're going to need to actually use them for this so that way I can kind of show you uh, how things work. And let's get started. So let's first of all go ahead and just take a look at this here. Um, basically, this is going to be extremely hard to describe, mostly. If you want to use it, you're going to have to copy it. I will build it um, at the end of the video here to show you actually how to make it. Um, it's pretty complex. It mixes things like AND gates. Um, sorry, this is an OR gate here. Um, but it mixes like AND gates, the XOR gates. Uh, this right here is an XOR gate in the back. Um, and other things and <laughs> I have to admit even I have a I'm having a difficulty separating it give me a while of playing with it and I'll probably figure it out eventually but this right here and this is more for the subtractor here but this is the input for the carry and then this is the output for the carry input output so that makes it really nice because you could really just line these guys up and go so let's go ahead and take it now these are the two standard inputs that are back there but i did them like this because i wanted to actually uh, give it a shot to get an eight uh, bit binary uh, calculator and actually show you guys what it would be looking like so let's start off with something uh, maybe kind of bigger than we've been doing before so let's do something like i don't know 87 and that's what um, we're going to put in as the top number for our adding number. Okay, so first of all, what we need to do is we need to find the biggest one it'll go into. So it won't go into 128, but it will go into 64. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and turn on the top number to 64. All right, so let's take away 64. We have 23 left. So what's the next number it will go into? It won't go into 32, but it will go into 16. So let's turn that one on. So minus 16. Now we have 7. All right, won't go into 8. We'll go into 4, and I can take it from here. 4, 5, 6, 7. Awesome. So that actually gives us a pretty diverse number here with a grouping over here, which will be pretty nice. Um, to kind of really show you guys what it looks like and then let's just choose another random number. Let's do um, minus 54 So before we get going here, let's just take a look at this and do this in reverse just to make sure we got our correct number here we have 64 plus 16 16 plus yeah it's just 4 2 and 1 so 7 so plus 7 so 4 5 6 7 yep all right now we have our 87 all right now let's do our 54 so we'll again start off with our biggest number it won't go into 64 this time we're going to do the lower number. So 54 minus 32. Now we have 22 left. So 16 will go into it. So let's do minus 16. 
and now we have six left so really all we can really do is the four and the two again but not the one this time all right so let's go ahead and go back through this and make sure we have 32 plus 16 Oops, I cannot believe I just did that. Anyways, plus four. Plus two. There we go. 54. All right. So, what number should we have? Well, let's do 87 plus 54 should be 141 so let's take a look at it we have 128 I guess I really shouldn't undo that and yeah, that's right so 128 plus 8 plus 4 plus 1 141 there we go all right that worked out nicely and if we subtract the 54 we get that 87 that we originally had okay so we proved that the addition here works now let's flip this switch here this flip uh, this switch actually will turn it into subtraction instead So now what we're going to do I think I have a flaw in the subtraction here Hmm Okay Let's ignore that carry there and see what this looks like. We have 32. All right. So 87 minus 54 equals 33. So we have 32 and 1. 33. Pretty sure I need to let's see. Let's just build our standard XOR, I think. Pretty sure that's right, because I should be inverting this signal into this. So we'll just go ahead and build this so you guys will see what the XOR gate looks like. At least this version of it. Actually, will it work like that? Nope. Should have figured. There we go. And the thing was is that, and I'll explain this in a moment, why this kind of makes sense. 
but uh, in order to do subtraction you actually have to invert there we go all right let's go ahead and take a look and see how this works all right so we have our adder here so essentially all we're doing is we're taking whatever the signal is um, from the bottom line and we want it to be the bottom line which is why I kind of built this backdrop here so that way one it was easier to kind of figure out which number was which as we were going through this but also um, so we could get one above the other and we know which was the top number and which was the bottom number found that a lot easier because when you're doing subtraction if the top number is bigger than the small uh, bottom number then everything is fine and it stays positive but we don't have room to go negative here I assume and I haven't done this yet all you have to do is build an adder this way or take a signal out from the side and that way you can go into the negatives here um, but I'm not entirely sure on that one so um, I'd have to take a look I don't think it's just that simple but uh, either way this right here so all we do is we just take the signal that flips it on which goes all the way underneath that comes up here puts it into an XOR gate so really the XOR gate so while both is off it'll be off and if we flip this one on it'll be on so not too big of a problem because whatever we do to this one right now will be directly represented on the other side of it but if we go to invert it then that on signal gets reversed to an off but also and this is where the subtraction part comes in it will actually turn on or off, sorry it will turn on blocks that are off that's where the subtraction comes in uh, for this as well and what allows it to actually subtract and so at the end of the day the all of these right here which is why this one had to be inverted I wasn't putting the signal into another adder and inverting a signal into it in order to um, negate this that's where I had the problem with it carrying over so I ended up just building an XOR here and that did the trick because our subtraction number was fine without that but let's take a look at another subtraction number just turn everything off here we'll leave the subtraction on so we can do something simple like 3 minus 1 so 3 minus 1 should be 2 right and I just made a fool of myself because it's 3 minus 2 I just reversed those numbers apparently I'm doing more thinking than I'm speaking it out sorry about that but anyways so 3 minus 2 or 3 minus 1 and that should be 2 there we go alright let's actually take something really easy like for example the 128 here which will turn on which all it should do is turn this on here and won't even affect it and then let's subtract 64 so that should give us just a straight 64 what if we take off another 32 so 128 minus 64 and 32 leaves us with 32 and if you guys see the pattern this is actually how it's working because it just sends the signal back down this way and not literally it sends the signal back down that way but because that is inverting every signal coming up that's how it looks like it's coming back down this way and we should be able to do the same thing all the way down
All right, so that's it for the calculator. Um, I do want to show you really quickly how to build this. Oops. So as I said before, this is going to be one of those things where you're just going to want to copy it. Actually trying to remember how it's built is easier than trying to figure out how it's built, which is kind of annoying, but that's the way it is. So this should be big enough. I just like to have something contrasting. Um, I really like the purple because it stands out. All right, so now we start off like this. We're going to put redstone on these three spots here. All right, now to come around to this side, just so you guys can see, this is the two areas where we input here. Now, it doesn't matter for the subtraction part which one is which, except for whichever part is going to have the subtractor come in needs to be one side, and then the top number, or and that should be the bottom number, and then the top number needs to be the other one. Otherwise, it does not work correctly. All right, so we have this part here. As you can see, we have that part here. Only we have some things on top of it, right? So then you'll come out three redstone blocks this way. So I just kind of like to remember it and what's on level one, sort of. And that helped me out a lot. Let's go ahead and get level two started here. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Anyway, so you'll have one in the back here, one up front, one here, one there on the top, one on the bottom side here. So just to kind of show you over here, one there, one in front, one up there, one there, one there. Now we have one here as well, so let's go ahead and put that on there. It's right there. Now, you're also going to have these two here. These need a block on top of each of them. Okay, there's going to be a block right on top of this here. And a block there. There's going to be redstone wire coming this way. You can put the input over here on the other side. There's going to be redstone here, here, and both of those places. And then this part here is going to be the output. It doesn't matter which one you really use as the input, I guess, if you want it dead center so one two three four five this would be the dead center spot so but that part doesn't matter as much so let's give it a shot all right so if we turn on let's say this one here oh i got something wrong Um, holy cow, I forgot these two. Oops, not that one. There. Sorry about that. There we go. Turn one on, it turns that light on. Turn two on, it should turn that one off. And then put on the carry. Let's go ahead and put down, let's just light up the carry manually. Or actually, we can just do that. Here's the carry, which turns on both of them. And if we turn off one, we have one plus one, so that equals one zero, so we have a carry. And if we turn that off, we still have our carry. Or our one from the carry. Alright, so that all works. Now, how do we turn it into 
guess we can leave that there. A subtractor. Whenever I built this thing, I always think it looks like a little dude bowing over just a little bit. Like there's his body, there's his feet, and there's his head. I'm a very visual person, and uh, that kind of helped me remember it. So, anyways, as you can see from over here, we have his feet. He has like these little pointy toe things, and then a torch on either side of the leg, on either side of his head, and then there's a dot right there. So let's go put that in there. We'll put one here. There's one on each side of his head and on the front for his toes. And we got the dot right there. Okay. So that's the XOR gate. And it's a different kind of XOR gate. It'd be it's kind of nice to collect different styles of gates so that way you can use them in different ways. This one's a little taller than the XOR gate that I build by one square. And it's taller than the XOR gate that I build by one square. So all in all, like the amount of space you gain from this is pretty nice. Okay, now for this part, it really doesn't matter because the point is, is that you're going to invert the signal. So either way, so I didn't do this one on the other one, so I'll put this one a little bit lower just to represent to me that that's the subtractor. So this is going to be the top number over here still, essentially. And like I said, you could have flipped this. So here we go. We have that one's a one, right? So if we do one, and now you're going to kind of see how this looks like one, plus one equals the carry, essentially. Now if we invert this, we just turn that off, and now we just have the one coming through. But that's where this part comes in to take it, because it actually has to turn off. Um, it has to add a carry, essentially. And that's what kind of screws these things up. So you can't actually use that as a demonstration there. Let's go ahead and bring this out. And that's only needed on the very first one. So notice we have one on the first side and then we have one on the end. So this one here, when you're doing subtraction, brings in the carry. So that way it can help shut things off. And then this one over here inverts the carry. All right, guys, so that's how we build the whole thing, how we do negatives or subtractions. Just stack this on up like we did here. And that'll help you build this. So. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much for watching. Again, I am GamerMage0. Please hit like, subscribe, notifications if you want future notifications of my videos, and if you like this kind of thing. Um, and then leave comments and suggestions on future videos that you'd like to see from me. Thank you guys very much. Bye.